Hey everyone, in this video, we're going to talk about how you can earn fees on Uniswap by providing liquidity to pools. And I'll walk you through everything step by step, what liquidity pools actually are, how to connect your wallet, how to pick a pool, and what's the difference between Uniswap V2, V3, and the new V4. Uniswap is a decentralized exchange that runs on Ethereum and multiple layer two networks. Instead of an order book with buyers and sellers, it uses something called an automated market maker. Behind every trading pair you see on Uniswap, there's a liquidity pool, a smart contract that holds two tokens and uses a formula to automatically set the price and execute swaps. Anyone can deposit their tokens into that pool and become a liquidity provider. And in return, you earn a share of the trading fees from every swap that goes through that pool. Now, before we start clicking buttons, you need to know there are real risks here. Providing liquidity is not the same as staking in a simple savings account. The big one is impermanent loss. When the price of your two tokens diverges, the pool automatically rebalances them and you might end up with more of the token that performed worse and less of the one that pumped. On top of that, there's regular market volatility, smart contract risk, and the risk of sketchy tokens whose teams can pull liquidity. So treat LPing as an advanced strategy, not a guaranteed yield farm. Okay, let's dive in. Before we add any money, let's connect the wallet and go to the right section openapp.uniswap.org in your browser. In the top right, you click Connect. Choose your wallet, MetaMask, Coinbase Wallet, Wallet Connect, whatever you use. Confirm the connection and make sure your network matches the network shown in the app. Once you see your address instead of the Connect button, you're ready. Now we're not creating a new pool. We're only joining existing ones. To do that, go to the Explore tab and then open the pools section. Here you'll see a big table of pools. Each row is a trading pair with a specific version and fee tier. For example, you'll see something like ETH USDC V 30.05% and then a bunch of numbers. TVL, APR, 24 hour volumes, 30 day volumes, and sometimes a volume to TVL ratio on the far right. Let me quickly explain what these numbers mean and how to use them. TVL, total value locked, is the amount of liquidity sitting in that pool. A higher TVL usually means deeper liquidity and less slippage for traders. But for you, it also means you're sharing fees with more people. Volume shows how much trading is flowing through the pool. This is where your fees actually come from. So you want a pool with consistent, healthy volume, not just a big TVL that never moves. APR is an estimated annual return based on recent fees. It can look very juicy, but it's uh, just a snapshot. If volume drops tomorrow, APR will drop too. None of these numbers are fixed or guaranteed. They breathe with the market. Commission level, the fee tier, is also crucial. On Uniswap, you'll often see 0.01%, 0.05%, 0.3%, and sometimes 1%. Lower fees are designed for super stable pairs, like stable coins, where traders want cheap swaps and high volume. Higher fees make more sense for volatile or exotic tokens, where traders are willing to pay more. Um, if you're a beginner, Sticking to blue chip pairs on popular fee tiers uh, is usually the safer way to start. And really quick about pool versions. Uniswap has V2, V3, and now V4 pools on type. You'll usually see the version right next to the pool name. And here's the simple breakdown. V2 is the old school model. You always deposit both tokens 50-50. Your liquidity sits across the entire price range and you get a standard LP token. It's super easy and totally passive, but because your money is spread out everywhere, it usually earns less compared to newer versions. V3 is where things get interesting. Here you pick a price range and your liquidity only works inside that zone. 
that means your capital is more concentrated and earns better fees. But if the price leaves your range, you stop earning until it comes back. And your V3 position shows up as an NFT instead of a normal LP token. V4 is basically V3 with more power tools. Pools can have hooks, which are little add-ons that customize how the pool behaves. Things like special fee logic, built-in limit order features, automated rebalancing, and more. It's more flexible and potentially more efficient, but hooks also mean more smart contract complexity. So you should understand the risks. That's it. Clean and simple. All right, now let's pick a concrete example and go through it together. On my screen, I'm choosing the ETS USDC pool on Arbitrum chain, Uniswap V3, with a 0.05% fee. In the table, you can see that this pool has around $75 million of TVL, an APR of about 56 to 57%, daily volume around $233 million, and roughly $116,000 in fees generated in the last 24 hours. Those numbers tell us a few things. First, this is a huge, very active pool. Lots of traders, lots of volume. Second, the volume compared to TVL is quite high, which is good for fee generation. And third, that APR is based on a strong recent trading day. If the market calms down, that number will shrink. So we treat it as a reference, not as a promise. And just a quick heads up before we add any funds, the pool we're using in this example is on Arbitrum, not on Ethereum mainnet. So make sure your wallet is switched to the Arbitrum network if your ETH or USDC is still sitting on mainnet or another chain. You can move them over in literally a few seconds right inside Uniswap. Just hit the swap tab, pick Arbitrum as the destination network, and the interface will guide you through the bridge. Once your tokens land on Arbitrum, you're good to go. Click on this pool to open its detailed page. Here, you'll see a volume chart for the last day, the same APR number on the right, and some stats. Around 19.5 thousand Ethereum in the pool and 13.6 million USDC, plus the TVL and volume for the last 24 hours. This page is like an X-ray of the pool. If you see a pool with weirdly low volume, tiny TVL, or a token you don't recognize, that's a red flag. In our case, Ethereum and USDC are both strong, liquid assets, and the numbers are healthy. So we'll use this pool for the tutorial. Click the Add Liquidity button. This takes you straight into the new position flow for this existing pool. Notice that in step one, the pair and the fee level are already filled. Ethereum on the left, USDC on the right, fee tier 0.05%, with a note that this tier has the highest TVL. We're not changing the tokens or the fee here. We're just joining the pool as it is. Hit continue. Now we're in step two, where we customize the position itself. You'll see a big chart with the current price and a colored band. This is the Uniswap version three concentrated liquidity magic. You can choose between full range on the left, which behaves more like V2, your liquidity is everywhere, or a custom individual range on the right where you define exactly between which prices your liquidity works. Under the chart, you'll see ready-made our price strategies. There's something like stable position plus or minus three ticks, which is a very narrow band designed for ultra stable pairs, a wide position, minus 50% to plus 100% for more volatile markets. And one-sided strategies like only down or only up, where you add liquidity, expecting the price to move into your range from above or below. These are just presets. You can always tweak the numbers manually. In the example on the screen, the current price of Ethereum in USDC is shown at the top of the chart. And below you can see two boxes, minimum price and maximum price. In my case, there are around 2,500 USDC on the low side and 3,800 USDC on the high side, which is roughly minus 21% and plus 21% from the current price. 
That means my liquidity will only be active while Ethereum trades inside that band. If the price goes out of this range, my position stops earning fees and gradually converts into mostly one of the two tokens. A narrower range concentrates liquidity more and can increase fee income, but it also requires more active management. A wider range is more forgiving, but less capital efficient. Now, once you've set a range you're comfortable with, scroll down to the deposit tokens section. Here you choose how much Ethereum and how much USDC you want to supply. Because this is a V3 pool, Uniswap will automatically calculate the right ratio of the two based on your price range. Sometimes if your whole range is above or below the current price, you might effectively start with just one of the tokens. That's called single-sided or out-of-range liquidity, but you're still exposed to price changes as the market moves. Enter the amounts you're ready to risk. Double check that your wallet actually holds enough of both tokens and that you're happy with the dollar value. When you click preview or add liquidity, your wallet will first ask you to approve the tokens, which is a one-time permission for the contract to use them and then confirm the actual transaction, check the gas fee, check the token symbols and amounts one more time and then confirm. Um, when the transaction goes through, you'll officially become a liquidity provider in this Ethereum USDC pair. On your pools or positions page, you'll see a new V3 position with details. How much Ethereum and USDC you currently hold, whether you're in range or out of range, and how many fees you've earned. Whenever you want to realize those fees, you come back to this position and click the collect button or close the position entirely and withdraw your tokens plus fees back to your wallet. To wrap up, remember, always choose pools with tokens you understand. Check fee tier, APR, volume, and TVL together instead of chasing one flashy number. And never forget that all of these metrics change every day. Providing liquidity on Uniswap, especially on V3, can be a powerful way to put your crypto to work, but it comes with real market risk and needs periodic attention. If you'd like a separate video where we compare V2, V3, and V4 strategies in more detail, let me know in the comments and I'll break that down for you as well.